Hi everyone, it's Frugal here. As always, I have my coffee because otherwise somebody might just get killed. Let's talk today about risks, all right? You want to take some risks um, in life. Uh, you know, if you want to get married, if you want to have kids, you know, these are things are all risks that you have to take. But I mean, consider money. Money is a very big risk that you have to take. For example, you decide to go and study something um, because you think that you're going to earn more money. And then you find out that you earn less money than most people. It is just so important, you know, that you don't only think about, uh, you know, the money aspect of things, but also the earning aspect. So yes, when we talk about risk, we do talk about that you're taking a chance, but you also need to understand that there is a learning aspect to risk. The more you learn, the lower your risk is. So for example, if I know a lot about how trading works, for example, not that I would trade, but if I know about trading, it just makes it so much easier and simpler for me to trade because I understand the patterns and understand how these things work. So for example, um, it's very similar with money. So I worked in a casino quite a couple of years ago and I used to work with a fairly large amount of money. And you know, when you need to exchange, uh, you know, change or people would come with fake notes, you would know exactly when it is because you touch the note, you feel it and you know, you know, and money has got a very specific feel to it. And you know then, listen, this is fake. You know, you don't even have to look at it. You can feel it. In the same way, when you, uh, with regards to, you know, risk and learning, if you've learned enough, you can spot the knot. You know when it's not worth it and when it is worth it. Um, you're not always right, but it's the same with property for me. Uh, you know, I look at property and I'm like, oh, nope, <laughs> it's definitely not worth it. I wouldn't invest in that. But in some other things, um, it makes sense. It, it makes absolute sense to say, okay, well, this property, I'm willing to invest in that. It's like coffee, you know, you've drunk coffee enough, you know what is a good coffee and what is not. So this is the important thing that you need to consider is risk and education. You're not going to throw your money just around there and say, have fun, be careful out there, have a wonderful day and happy investing.